Hello whiskey lovers and welcome again to one of Mark's whiskey ramblings. I've got something lovely on the table today, a Kalila, a Kalila 10 years old in the Oort Particular series that you know very well from uh, Douglas Lane. But this one is special because as you can see by the three colors on the label, this one was bottled exclusively for our Belgian friends. Thank you, Fred, Cara and, and Chris. Uh, thank you at everyone. Uh, thank you to everyone at Douglas Lane for selecting these beautiful casks to be bottled exclusively for Belgium. I was wondering if I know how many bottles there are. Uh, it was uh, aged 10 years. It was distilled in September 2010, bottled in August 2021. 296 bottles. And this is bottled at a cask strength of 56.6% ABV. Hooray! Now, those who know me, uh, they know I have a soft spot for Kalila, it is true. Uh, Kalila never fails to, uh, to please, you know, it's, it's, it's fair to say that it's my favorite Isla uh, whiskey, Kalila. And uh, I've been to the distillery and it's been way too long and I'm very much looking forward to going back again. But to the whiskey at hand, to the whiskey at hand. So this Kalila was bottled by Douglas Ling, uh, 10 years old, cask strength exclusively for Belgium, 56.6% ABV on the nose. Ah, this beautiful pale, pale, very pale malt indeed, has a stockfish on the nose, some olive oil, fish oil, you know, uh, some, some honey and vanilla, some licorice, and then a lost lime. Also some green garden herbs, quite a bit of vanilla, and in fact, it's, it's, it's just a tad bit atypical for Kalila, in my opinion. But it is so good, it's so good. Ah, now I wonder if the importer uh, of Douglas Lang, Sinoco, is the, the Belgian company that imports the Douglas Lang releases. I wonder if they actually chose this bottle, or if Douglas Lang selected it themselves. Whoever selected it, I'm very grateful because it's an outstanding, an outstanding, outstanding nose indeed. And I'm sure it will be on the palate as well, but let's find out on the palate. Mmm. It's nice and oily on the palate, but immediately very, very sweet, in fact. Vanilla leads now. And that is followed with a, a soft, sweet and sour touch, like from agrum, you know, citrusy notes. And then the peat, then the peat. But the peat is nice and spicy and not overpowering. Uh, there's a lot of pepper and, and baker spices in there, giving it some nice warmth. Before the maritime notes actually start to shine through, they come to the fore, the smoke development becomes very grand, in fact, and the whole mouth gets warmed, nice and warm. It's a winter dram by any means, and it is absolutely delicious. God, I love Kalila. <laughs> It makes me happy on the finish. Oh, that finish lasts longer than an episode of Casa de Papel. I'm not sure if you see Money Heist, they call it uh, in, in, in English, that Spanish series. But this is, back to the whiskey, this is a very long, very satisfying, very satisfying, excellent finish. Wow, what a great cask selection indeed. And I'm very happy that I was able to get my hands on this bottle because mm, Old Particular is a very good series of whiskies. Douglas Ling has excellent casks indeed. I got a, quite a few Ochentoschen from uh, the Old Particular series as well that, that are really up my alley. But this Kalila, <laughs> it's nice and spicy. It's quite powerful. You can't go wrong. And this is available for around 95 euros. I mean, and I'll have you know, this is just something on the side, but this is my 150th Kalila. But who's counting? That's all for this week's scrambling, and I hope to see it one of Mark's week's scramblings real soon. And until then, may the mob be with you. Bye-bye. <laughs>